So Jamal Nice here with MMA legend Royce Gracie at uh, Bellator 187. How does it feel to be back in Dublin? I like Ireland. Actually, the Gracie name I thought was from Scotland. But then the Irish people said, no, Gracie name come from Ireland to Scotland to Brazil. Oh, really? So I'm home. <laughs> now, it's a very interesting uh, main event of this card, AJ McGee, only 22 year years old. And if he wins this fight, he has the longest win streak in Bellator history. How far do you think he can go as a prospect? Do you think he's got what it takes to win the world title? He's very talented. He trains very hard. Um, but there's only one way to find out. That's why my family create this stuff. So it's, uh, he's putting his time. He definitely got, he's doing the right thing. Now also the main event that was scheduled for this card, James Gallagher, who's another really exciting prospect uh, from Ireland, from SBG. He's unfortunately pulled out. Do you think those two guys, they've, they've been um, back and forth a lot on social media, do you think those guys are destined to fight in the immediate future? And do you think it's a good move considering, well, it's a risky move for both in my opinion because they're both on the come up. Uh, do you think that's a fight that has to be made? They will have to meet. They're on the same weight division. So the, unless if somebody decides to change division, but eventually they will meet. And now you're no stranger to tournaments and uh, today, I don't know if you've heard, but Bellator have announced that they're doing a heavyweight tournament to crown a new heavyweight champion. The likes of Fedor Emelianenko, Ryan Bader, uh, Quinton Rampage Jackson are going to be competing in it. How great do you think this is for martial arts, considering that you know, uh, the sport of mixed martial arts was built on tournaments like this? Do you think it's great to have uh, Grand Prix back now? It's always, I mean, people always have the curiosity of who would it be the champion, you have put all the heavyweights, all the lightweights, all the fighters together. So there's your answer. <laughs> you, people will find out who is the best heavyweight. Who would you say is the favorite in that division? Do you think Fedor still got what it takes to compete at the highest level? I, don't, I wouldn't say there's a favor because they all, they all earn a, 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 a spot to be there. So they're all danger. Anyone can win. It's a, they all know what they have to do. They all been on the fighting game for a long time. So it's, a, it's going to be very interesting. And now it's been a, a massive year for Bellator, as everyone knows. They've signed some amazing talent. Roy McDonald, Gegard Mousasi. Do you think Roy McDonald is the best welterweight on the planet right now? And do you think he proves that by winning the belt against uh, Douglas Lima? Well, we'll see. He's going to fight Douglas Lima, who is not an easy opponent. So, again, there's only one way to find out. And even if he wins or after he wins, um, there's going to be a next one coming up and challenging him. There's always going to be a new fighter coming up. You see, there's always a, a, a new one coming up to challenge the top guy. So it's a constant. You've got to constantly keep your sword sharp and clean. Well, speaking of um, upcoming guys, we have a very talented fighter from the UK called Michael Venom Page. You obviously know of him. He's, he looks like he's heading in the direction of fighting Paul Daly, what would be a number one contenders fight. How impressed are you with him coming up? Man, MVP is yeah. awesome. Kind of like AJ McKee. They, got, they see it, the fight, let's say, in a different speed. The stuff that they're able to do, I man, the jumps and the spinning, and the, they see the fight in a total different speed. So I can't wait to see him fight MVP, to see MVP fight again. Uh, just one last one. Is there anyone on the card that you think fans aren't necessarily looking at that you think they should be looking at and will provide a great fight for them tonight? A dark horse, if you will. Baby Slice. Baby Slice. He's coming up. He's coming up. He's been putting another one that's been training very hard. You see, he's coming up on the on the on the on the rankings. Okay, well it was great speaking to you and uh, thanks a lot for your time. Thank you. Thank you, cheers. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. Thanks a lot.